include everything. All right, guys, we struggled the last few times. Let's go back into the wizard hunt. I see more arithmetic. I'm not happy about this. Uh, let's see what we can do, though. Oh my god, it's so hot. In my place right now. Discover the gate to the astral plane. You've gained entry, but you've heard rumors of a gateway to a secret chamber in a parallel dimension containing untold treasure. Maybe you shouldn't just walk your way into it. Listen carefully to what each wizard says and calculate each magic number. You'll need to take things one wizard at a time. Oh, Jesus. Alright, uh. The secret number is 40. Divide by 4 and then tell the number to Missy here. Alright. What a team! Let's see what this guy has to say. Welcome, friend. Now divide by five and tell the number you get to Beata. I guess this is Beata. So, so what we can do here is just myth. Actually, do we need? We'll just create a new var here. We'll say var. Actually, let's move to that guy first. D divide Missy's number by Beta's number. All right. So cool. So we'll say. Uh, Var num1 is equal to myth divided by 5. Move to beta. Beata. So we're going to move at, move to 42.20. And then we are going to say the Gnome 1. And then we are going to create a new variable called num 2 and set that a equals to myths. Subtract beta's number from myth a. So myths minus beta's is our num 1. Then we want to move to Sandor here. Then we want to move xy, and that was 3836. And we want to say num2. Alright, let's run this. Or actually, let's submit it. I think I feel good enough to submit it. So we go one, two, three, four. Now that we know what's going on, it was, it's not too bad. Novice! What a ting! What a ting! Alright, we got a new gate here. 25 variable levels. Alright, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, the wizard's plane. I guess we'll keep going down the wizard route. Basic uh, syntax with the tick and variables. So we're trying to find the hidden gold right now. You've talked your way into mysterious alternate plane of reality. Only a clever wizard is being turned by secret treasures. Let's carefully calculate each magic number. Oh, jeez. Alright. More math. Uh, multiply with theories. Thomas number. Alright, so we're going to say subtract 1 and multiply by 4 to get those. Alright, so we'll say var z Sophie equals subtract one and multiply it by four. Secret number is eight. Multiply by three and subtract two until that result to Tomas. Okay, um, so I'm assuming they mean from Tam, so times four, and then let's move to, this is 32.24. Let's make sure that's correct, because I don't actually, normally they would say what's going on here. Let's just go and run that. Oh, we didn't actually say it yet. What a ting! Yes. OF 
Bye. All right. Let's go ahead and run that. See if we die right here. Bam. Bam. Twenty-two. What a ting. Ugh. That is not correct. Subtract one and multiply by four to get the office number. Multiply three and subtract two to get Thomas number. Secret number is eight. Okay, I see what's going on. I think we have to do this. Eight minus one times four. Let's see what's going on here. What a ting! Novesty. Ugh. What a ting! Novesty. Alright, so we had to use Prince, so we didn't do it earlier. Let's see if this was correct. What a ting! What a ting! Ugh. What a ting! Hmm. Let's see here. What a ting! What a ting! Ah, there we go. Alright. So, they want us to minus one, then multiply by four in that order. Okay. Now, next, add this number to Tom Thomas' number, and then divide the result by two. So, let's create a new variable here called var commas and we'll set it equal to uh, see Sophie plus Tam divided by two and then we want to move dot XY to this guy at 4020 and then we want to arrow Dot say uh, Tomas. Now let's go ahead and run that and make sure we did our arithmetic correctly. What a ting! What a ting! What a ting! All right, add Tomas and Zofi's number. All right, so create a new one, uh, and we'll call this var Cecil or. Sizzle, I don't know how you say that. Alright, so we want to add Tam plus this is Sophie. Subtract. It's Devon's number from Sophie's and multiply the results. Alright, so we're going to multiply the results of. If I understood this correctly, Sophie minus. Uh, what is this, Stefan's? Tomas? I think that's right. Oh. What a and ting. then we have to move there as well. So this was uh, 4816. Arrow dot move xy. What a ting. Uh, 4816. And then from here, we want to hero dot say. See. Screw your fingers. All right, let's go, baby. We got it. What a ting! What a ting! What a ting! Novesty. Damn, we did it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um. Math man, it's hard. What do you want? <laughs> All right. Uh, useful cornucopia. All right, we'll do uh, useful competitors. Let's see here. 
Ogres must die, click gather all the coins. Oh, Alright. I see arithmetic in this, so I'm okay, <laughs> okay with it. Alright, the coin field has been suited with vials of deadly po poison. Ogres are attacking while their peons are trying are trying to steal your coins. Attack the enemy only if the only if the type is not equal to peon. Any bad type, not equal attack. Gather the item only if it's not equal to the item. If item, we can do this. If item is not equal to, actually, if item dot id, does item have an id? Uh, why don't we try that dot id? It is not equal to poison. We, let's not use a strict equals. Uh, item dot move xy to item dot this dot x and item dot ps dot y. Let's see if that works or if that crashes. Could very well crash. All right, so this seemed to work, but um, let's get rid of that. We don't need the item. We actually want to move the hero, not the item. So let's see. Well Damn. Damn. Straight to their death. Yeah, this look like they're team. still gonna die. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Alright, so if there is an item, go ahead and do that. And then we'll say, uh, let's see, I don't know if I nearest item. Let's go look ahead and look at the documentation. We have item.position.x, item.position.y. Uh, move to the position of the item. <sighs> hmm. Let's try this. If Item is equal equal to coin. We will move to its position. Maybe gem? Let's try that one more time. No, this ain't working. Alright. Item is not equal to equal to poison. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't see the dot type, so item dot type. Let's try this. Because they do the peon right here. I was trying dot ID. There we go. Item dot type. So we're just gonna let these guys 
Yo, 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 yo. Oh, you knock that off. So basically, we're just letting these guys eat the poisons. Alright, looks like we got it. Just... Item dot type. That's what we were going for. Did I not get it? Stuff, man. How right, do you get the poison? Top rag. Get the gem. Bam. Get the gem. Get the gold. Get the gem. Yo, 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 yo. I think I got our coin, man. What was this supposed to happen like that? Oh, I guess that's good enough. Gather all the coins. That's it. Is that all? Alright, guys. Uh, that was a pretty good one. Um, just learning more about the game. Item.type. Now we know that exists. Uh, next up, Logical Pass, Salted Earth, and Coin Ecopia. Coin Ecopia. So, as always, uh, thank you for everyone who's been supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for uh, subbing. Thank you for the shares. And I will see you guys in the next Code Combat video. See you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my collaboration with Eric Surf 6 going over how to get started coding. And if you're looking for some coding help, go to Code Mentor using the annotation or card. And if you're looking for internships or part-time jobs or full-time jobs as a student or a recent grad, check out wayup.com. See you guys next time.